Alec Baldwin is singling out Stephen Colbert and John Oliver for using their talk show pulpits for political purposes, issuing a tweet and pointing specifically to the hosts of Global's The Late Show and HBO's Last Week Tonight. Talk shows were once promotional pit stops for some blithe chit-chat about movies, etc. wrote the Match Game star in a tweet. Read more, John Oliver confronts Dustin Hoffman about sexual harassment allegations. Now the likes of at I am Schneeliver and at Stephen at home have flipped that and they are beginning to resemble grand juries, he continued. Talk shows were once promotional pit stops for some blithe chit-chat about movies, etc. Now the likes of at I am John Oliver and at Stephen at home have flipped that and they are beginning to resemble grand juries. AB Foundation, at AB Falek Baldwin, December 6, 2017. While Baldwin's statement doesn't make clear whether he's praising the hosts for elevating talk shows into more substantive political discussions or taking them to task for rendering a form of televised judgment, there's an argument to be made that it's the latter. That's because Baldwin's tweet is preceded by his retweet of a Twitter video by white famous actor Michael Rappaport, in which he shreds Oliver for blindsiding Dustin Hoffman during a panel discussion about Wag the Dog by relentlessly pursuing questions about allegations of sexual harassment that have recently been leveled against the 80-year-old actor. Watch, Stephen Paul Bear videos on globalnews.ca. Rappaport's tweet is below but be forewarned that he uses explicit language that could prove offensive to some. Since John Oliver had to ask Mr. Hoffman those questions about alleged sexual harassment, why didn't he ask Mr. Hoffman face-to-face -face backstage before the at Tribeca event, why did he wait to get on stage and ask, was he doing this for the gram? For merit points, Number John Oliver pick .twitter .com forward slash fukscqh9m Michael Rappaport, at Michael Rappaport, December 6, 2017. Baldwin was quickly slammed on Twitter by those who disagreed with the argument, which he didn't necessarily make, that talk shows are becoming too political. However, Baldwin later made it very clear that his vague statement was intentional when he replied to a Twitter user who sarcastically wrote, Oh to return to the glory days where charming tales of rampant misogyny could be told to an adoring audience while smoking a cigarette and drinking a cocktail. Watch, Welcome to Hell, SNL's female cast members take on sexual harassment with music video. To which Baldwin replied, Notice, if you will, that I don't express a preference. If I could bottle the sanctimony here. The Twitter exchange continued, Beg to differ wrote the Twitter user. Your subtext seems pretty clear. Evoking a grand jury is freighted with meaning. What meaning is that, replied Baldwin. Accused of being obtuse, Baldwin fires back by dismissing the Twitter user as angry and harsh. What meaning is that? AB Foundation, at AB Falek Baldwin, December 6, 2017. Okay you seem angry harsh so. AB Foundation, at AB Falek Baldwin, December 6, 2017.